We need to secure the octopod. Already on it, Captain. That should keep us safe. Now let's see how everybody else is doing out there. Activate Octoscope. That little island is really getting pounded by the storm. Zoom in, Dashy. Look, fiddler crabs. I hope they're all right. The fiddler crabs will use their claws to tunnel into the sand to stay safe. But their beach is getting destroyed by this storm. Captain, the octoscope is gone. Can you track it on the radar? There it is. It must be somewhere on that island. Let's find our octoscope and clean up that beach. Quasi, peso, to the gums. Feed la crabs! The storm is over! But they'll be it's a mess! Oh, 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 Silence! We have claws, do we not? We, we do. We will use them to clean this up. Uh -huh. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> uh, just warming up. <laughs> oh, it is a, it is a giant crab. Uh -huh. You, what business do you have on our beach? I'm warning you. Stand back. Oh, to the tunnels! Oh. 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 No sign of the crabs yet. Uh -huh. It'll be quite a job finding the octoscope in this mess, Captain. We'd better clear it all away first. Hmm. Look at these tiny balls of sand. Shellington, what do you make of these? It looks like they were made by the fiddler crabs. They put sand in their mouths, eat tiny bits of food from it, and then spit the rest out in little balls. Then we must be near their tunnels. We'll have to be extra careful. Octonaut, let's clean up this beach. <laughs> Time to eat! This giant crab may not be our friend! Hmm, this seaweed just won't come off! Oh, but look! He's giving us a friendly wave! Hello, bonjour! Bonjour! Maybe this will get it loose. Aha! That is no friendly hello! That is a challenge! The giant crab thinks he can take over our beach with a snap of his giant claw! Will we surrender our home to this giant nincompoop? No! Then, sideways, march! That's better. <laughs> Octonauts, the beach looks great. Captain, I'm sending you a scan of the beach. I found the octoscope. Hmm, those must be the Fiddler Crab's tunnels. And there's the octoscope, buried in the sand. We'll have to dig it out by hand so we don't disturb their homes. If we start digging right there, and we're very careful to avoid this Hey, giant crab, I saw you with your claw. I accept your challenge. I said, I accept your challenge. Huh? You think you can ignore me, you yellow-bellied crab cake? Ah! <laughs> Take that! And that! And that! Ha! Chop! 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 Ha! Oh, and now you try to eat me! Oh, you sorry excuse for a crab! Ah! Shiver me whiskers! It's the fiddler crabs. And somehow, they're being chased by the Gup Z. We have to stop it before they get hurt. Ouch, my claw! 
I'm a medic. I help. <laughs> We've got to catch up with... Ow! Calm down, you scurvy... Ow! Time to sound the Octo Alert! Octo Alert to the Out Queue! Octonauts, we've cleaned up the beach and found the Fiddler Crabs. Hello. Oh, but we have a big problem. The Gup D is out of control. It's tunneling under the sand. Dashi, can you track it? Looks like the Gup D's moving fast. The Fiddler Crabs tunnels. They'll be destroyed. Then we need to stop it fast. But ouch! These fiddler crabs aren't making things easy for us. Fiddler crabs like to keep their homes to themselves. They wave their claws and snap at strangers who get too close. Unless they let us help them, they won't have any homes at all. Ha! Oh, I will never find her! Shiver, whiskers, one of those crabs is inside the cup D! Give us back our leader of giant crab! That's not a giant crab. That's our gop. Oh, whatever it is, it ate our leader. <laughs> Fiddler crabs, we are the Octonauts. We need to work together to stop our gup and save your leader. If we don't, your homes will be destroyed. <gasps> we will let you help us. No more snapping. And you may tend to my claw. Stop that gup! <laughs> There's only one way to catch it now! Huh? the Fiddler Crab's tunnels were destroyed by the sinkhole. Oh, thank you. You saved us. Our beach is clean. The giant crab is defeated, and our homes are safe. This calls for a celebration. Hey! Uh, but what about the sinkhole? Oh, don't worry. We will fill it up in no time. Fiddler Crabs, let's eat. Eat and spit. Eat and spit, eat and spit, eat and spit, eat and spit, eat and spit. Wow! You don't see that every day. There! No more sinkholes! Yeah. <laughs> you little mateys must really like that sand. But of course. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Hold still, Mr. Lobster. There, good as new. Ah, thanks, mate. 
Dashi to Peso. Come in, Peso. There's a storm heading your way and it looks like a big one. Thanks, Dashi. I'll head back to the Octopod right away. That's the problem. The storm's moving fast. You won't make it back here in time. Peso, your best option is to get in the Gup E and find a safe place to wait it out. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll check back in when the storm passes. Stay safe, Peso. It'll be safe down here. Come on. Good idea. I'll just get the guppy. Oh no. Captain, come in, Captain. I don't believe it. Us safe for many, many years. Who said that? Good day, mate. Flappity flippers! <laughs> There's no need to be frightened. It's only us tree lobsters. Tree lobsters? Now, now, give him space, fellas. <laughs> we don't get guests up here very often. I'm old Howie, at your service. I'm Peso. I am. You actually live up here? Yeah, of course. But. It's a giant rocky spike in the middle of the ocean. Ah, oh, you must be wondering how we got here. Well, <laughs> actually, I can't seem to remember. It all happened so long ago, you see. But uh, we've made a happy little home for ourselves up here. How many of you are there? Only 24 at the last count. Oh, aye, aye. But once these eggs hatch, there'll be a few more. Oh. <sighs> Ah, oh, goodness me, where are my manners? You must be exhausted. Rest up, my friend. We'll look after you tonight. Thanks. I just think I need to rest my eyes for a bit. Lobsters. Oh. Where did they go? Ah, tree lobsters or no tree lobsters, I'd better get back to the octopod. Mm. Looks like there's only one way down. Ahoy there, matey! Quasi, Captain! Glad to see you're all right, Peso. We found the guppy, but we've been searching for you all morning. You won't believe what happened to me last night. You can tell us all about it back at the Octopod. Climb aboard. Let's get you home. There were only 24 of them, and they all lived under this one tiny shrub. But then, when I woke up, they were gone. Yeah. Based on our location, it sounds like you washed up here on Ball's Pyramid. Strange. Ball's Pyramid has been explored many, many times and nobody's ever found any tree lobsters. I've never even heard of a tree lobster before. Peso, are you sure that maybe it wasn't all just a dream? It's not unusual to have strange dreams when you're in a dangerous situation. I don't know. Maybe it was all a dream. I believe you, matey. You, you do? I've heard enough strange tales to know there's usually a scrap of truth behind them. There's got to be something in the library about these tree lobsters of yours. Come on. Mysterious island monsters, castaway creatures, exotic beasts of land and sea. Quasi, it's been hours and we still haven't found anything about tree lobsters. Just a few more books, matey. Whoops! <laughs> a tree lobster! Ha <laughs> ha! I knew we'd find them! Listen to this! 
Lord Howe's island stick insects, or tree lobsters, once lived on islands off the coast of Australia. Shiver me whiskers! It's amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one has seen a living tree lobster in many years. I see one right now and it's on your head! Oh. A baby tree lobster! I must have somehow brought one of the eggs back with me. We'd better get you back home. <laughs> Yow! He's getting away! <laughs> Yow! Quasi, Peso, what's going on? There's a real life tree lobster loose on the ship! We have to catch him, Captain. Sound the octo alert! Octonaut to the H. Uh, no, um, Octonaut to the lodge. Um, follow that tree lobster! <laughs> Incredible! I've never seen anything like it! Ha-ha! <laughs> we knew that tree lobsters were real, didn't we, Peso? <laughs> He's heading for the kitchen! Watch out, vegetables! It up slowly, Tunip. We don't want to startle him. <laughs> Looks like he's heading for the garden pot. Let's go. I don't see the little guy anywhere, Kip. Keep looking. He's got to be around here somewhere. Huh? <laughs> Under a plant, just like home. Oh, all that running must have tired him out. He's sound asleep. We need to get him back to his home on Bull's Pyramid. Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Wake up, little fella. You're home. <coughs> you mean you climbed up there all by yourself, Peso? I did have a little help from a huge wave. Well, we'll be getting a little help from these climbing claws. Oh. Hold on, little fella. <laughs> Shouldn't be much further now. I think the shrub is just a... Whoa. <laughs> I've got you, matey. And I've got you. <laughs> Good catch, Captain. The shrub. Kind of scraggy little thing, isn't it? This is where the tree lobsters live, Peso. Yes, but where are they? <sighs> Peso! Old Howie! Huh? <laughs> You're back! And you brought little Howie Jr. with you. <laughs> Oh, we were so worried. But where were you? Well, sleeping, of course. We tree lobsters are nocturnal. We only come out at night. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. That's why no one's ever seen you before. Peso, this is an incredible discovery. You'll notice that our tribe has grown. Number 25 and 26 hatch today, and Howie Jr. here makes 27. Keep an eye on Howie Jr. He's a lively one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing him back to us. Won't you all stay the night as our guests? We'd be honoured, but we should head back home before it gets dark. Goodbye, old Howie. Goodbye, tree lobsters. Hey, goodbye. Goodbye. Come back soon now. Oh, my God. Um, how do we get down from here, anyway? I think you're going to like this part, Quasi. Octonauts! Hmm, fascinating. Sea stars and snails. 
And red rock crabs? Red rock crabs don't live in this part of the ocean. It's too cold for them. I wonder how they got here. Hello, I'm Shellington. I'm an octopus. Stay back! <gasps> oh, impressive. I knew red rock crabs were quick, but I didn't realize they were that quick. There's no need to be frightened. I just want to... This way, Chucks! I'm here to help. You'll never catch us! I, uh... Through his legs, Chucks! <laughs> just can't stand this place. It's cold, there's nothing to eat, and now some big furry thing's chasing after us! Captain! Come in, Captain! Shellington, how are you getting on exploring that island? Well, Captain, there's a bit of a mystery. I found some red rock crabs, but they don't belong here. This island is much too cold for them, and there's not enough food. They won't last long here. I'm going to need help rounding them up and taking them back where they belong. Understood. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. We've got a problem with some red rock crabs on an island where they don't belong. I don't know how they got here. But we need to take them back to their home in the Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos are a long way from here. Can we just load them into the garbs? No, that's the tricky part. They're very hard to catch. Every time I try to get close, they run away. Shellington, we're on our way. All right, everyone. Let's take this nice and easy. These crabs are a long way from home, and they're probably a bit scared. Hey, up. It's another of those furry things. Don't worry, little crabs. It's time to come with me. Aha! Nice and easy. Oh. Hello. I'm Peso, and I'm soaking wet. I, I forgot to tell you, Peso. They squirt water when they feel threatened. Leave us alone. Oh! I'll get my brother onto you. I get away. Oh. Captain, we've been trying to catch the crabs all evening, and we haven't caught a single one. Aye, these little mateys are quicker than I thought. It's getting dark. We'll have to try again tomorrow with the whole crew. Good morning, Octonauts. Everyone ready for a bit of crab catching? Aye, aye, yes, Captain. We'll round them up faster and you can see a bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Remember, these crabs are extra fast, so we'll need to be quick. Got it? Got, Got it. it. This could take a while, so if you need a break, Tunip and the Vegemals have set up a seaweed snack station. Super, super. Octonauts, let's do this. Day. Just out for a stroll, not trying to catch any crabs. Oh, that sounds like tunip. Tunip, is everything all right? Shiver me whiskers! It's the marine iguanas. Octonauts. <laughs> 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 Funny running into you here. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> Piggy, Ted, Sneezy, aren't you a little far from home? Ooh, not a little, a long way from home. First red rock crabs, and now marine iguanas. How did all these creatures from the Galapagos end up here? Go on, tell him, Iggy. Shush, I was just about to. It all started with a wild storm. The winds were so strong, they swept us right out to sea. Luckily for us, we was able to grab onto a clump of floating kelp. We used this kelp as a life raft. 
And a snack. We drifted for days, and our kelp raft was getting smaller. Well, I was angry. <laughs> Till eventually, we was washed up here, on the, this little island. Ah, and so the red rock crabs must have been carried here on kelp rafts too. That's incredible. No, it's terrible. The water here's too cold for us to die for seaweed to eat. That's why we've been, uh, borrowing your little snacks. Don't worry, iguanas. We'll take you and the crabs back home. Just as soon as we can round them up. <laughs> you never catch red rock crabs like that. Ah, I think you're right. If only we had something to distract them so we could sneak up on them. Captain, I think I know just the thing. Now what do we do? Just pretend you're sunbathing. Oh, Shh! Here they come. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Three iguanas ready for cleaning. Hey, Chuck, who's hungry? Red rock crabs love to climb on marine iguanas and eat the gunk off their backs. That way, both of them benefit. One gets fed, the other one gets cleaned. I believe that's what's called symbiosis. <laughs> yes, that's right. Watch. <laughs> oh, they kind of tickles. All right, everyone. Now that they're distracted. <gasps> it's those furry guys again. Octonauts, stay in formation. Run for your lives! <laughs> They'll see. Well, what are we waiting for? No, Quasi. It's too dangerous. Not for a marine iguana. Our claws give us special grip. Watch. If only we had claws like that. Let me see those claws again. Knock yourself out. Mm. You know what, Peso? I think I might be able to make a song. Tweak, these are a great invention. Thanks, Cap. I call them climbing claws. Everyone stay close and follow me. We need to herd the crabs up to the top of the cliff. We're ready for them, Captain. They'll be safe in here. <laughs> it's working, Captain. Just a little further. Steady. Keep moving forward, Octonauts. What are you furry things doing to my friends? Don't worry. We just want to take you back to your home. Take us back home? Well, why didn't you say so? Uh, why'd you hitch a ride? Don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, good. Ah, <laughs> two! Oh, oh dear! Achoo. Help! Octonauts, form a chain. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> everyone. Thanks for helping us, Chuck. We was just a bit scared before, being so far from home. No problem. But we couldn't have done it without the iguanas. Oh, don't mention it. Now, what do you say we go home? I say, let's go, Chucks! Octonauts, to the Galapagos. Here we are, the Galapagos Islands. Hey, everybody, we're home! And just in time, too. I could really do with a snack. Me, too. Come on. Monkey with a tool belt. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, 
to the launch bay. And got it. <laughs> 